But what we're doing, which is a little different than, say, creating a painting or a clay pot, is we're a welding um, glass that's 2,000 degrees and it's very heavy on the end of a five-foot pipe. And we're harnessing that energy and that hot molten media and, uh, you know, making it respond to our will with our bare hands, wet newspaper. So once we take our last gather of crystal over our bubble, we're going to roll it into that design and uh, let that spontaneity occur within boundaries of our design. Because we're giving a romantic story on our pieces, I call it romantic, because I think it's almost a poetic expression in uh, our glass. Instead of words, it's a feeling, but we're telling the story around the piece with our design. So it's that flavor, it's that poetic story. I say all of Midsummer Night's Dream is in our work because we do work abstract, then the viewer is allowed to participate, trying to discover what he or she thinks of it too, and uh, allows that story to continue around the piece, but also to stay alive without quite putting your finger on it. So if we do that, then we've done a good job.